they really brought Molly back like some 40 gods. They brought her back like a runaway slave and them things there. Mad. I heard this was going to happen before. I thought it was rumours. People said she was going back to Spain. But it was for photo shoots and all them things there. They lied to us. You lied to me. <laughs> they lied to us. Wow. Oh my God. I just thought about it. Mitch, you know. Bro, Mitch is going to have an orgasm in his wife fronts. I swear down. The guy is going to come in his briefs. <laughs> The way he won't be able to contain himself and them things there. Molly back. Bro, you got to admit the producers are killing it this year. you got to admit that. They're smashing it like plates at a Greek wedding and them things there. They're flaming it like a filet mignon. I swear down. Bro. <laughs> Bro, they got this under wraps like Michael's son blanket and them things there. That's how much they're killing it. Fam, even the way the Casa Morton with Neo and... <laughs> Bro, that was magic. That was epic. That was film noir. That was... Yo! Every element in it. The fun, the music, the suspense, the storyline. Everything was beautiful. <laughs> I love the producers. Listen, yeah, this season, bro, I'm actually, I'm telling bare people, where are my brothers? I don't even watch Love Island. I'm like, bro, you have to watch it this season. It's mad. And with Cassie just here, we're about to experience something we've never witnessed before. This is, this is once in a lifetime and them things that... <laughs> Why am I so gassed? I'm such a waste man. Some of the men they brought in tonight look a bit dusty still, like they could do with a good dusting. You know them one thing? A couple of them look like they picked them off Brighton Beach, like just kicking rocks and bare feet with their bare feet and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? But apart from that, <laughs> all is good. <laughs> Let me take it from the top. There ain't really much to talk about in this episode apart from the madness that happened in the beginning and them things there. But let me tell you how it all went in them things there, yeah? So here's a story all about... <laughs> I'm joking. Oh yeah, before I get started, you know how it goes. It's your boy Fred Stones. Hit that sub button for me. I'm not even going to look. <laughs> I'm not going to look. Hit it for me if you haven't hit it before. Comment, share, like, you know how we do. So let's take it straight from the top, yeah? So we started with Scott, yeah? Scott went happy still. He wanted to mash up a couple of the boys. He wanted to run a fade with them and them things there. He was on the smoke from the beginning. Bro, the brother was on smoke like a shisha lounge. I swear down. He was on more smoke than Doc Cotton. I swear to God. This guy... <laughs> yo, he was on it still. And I can see why he's on it. Because, yo, why is man calling me out my name? And they don't even know me like that. What? Because, shut up, listen. I'll give man the pimp slap with a towel come handed them things there. But anyway, he was telling Catherine that he wanted to pull up on the boys, talk to them. He was about that get down or lay down life. You know that one's there. He called the boys and stuff and he said, yo, I heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> now, obviously, he sat there the other day and he heard them and they're chatting about, just yapping about him and Catherine's relationship. He said, yo, like, I heard you lot been talking stuff behind my back and stuff here. Yeah. And he told man, like, how they tell man at weddings. He said, speak your peace now or just forever just hold it. And then tie it with his resting duck neck with his flipping turtleneck and he ain't even got a sweater on. <laughs> the brother looks like his neck's playing hide and seek from him. The brother's built like a flipping spam sandwich. The guy, I don't know why he's so vocal about Catherine and Scott, yeah? Just because Scott ain't moving like you are. Now, on the reels, yeah? I know I've been saying I don't like Scott and I don't trust him with um with Catherine. I've been saying that, yeah? That's just my feeling. He hasn't done anything apart from, obviously, when he first ran to Katie when she got here and all them things there. But how can Ty be chatting? He's got to know every new bombshell in there. This guy's been going back and forth with Ella with different girls like his tug of war and them things there. And my man thinks he's got any stand to even chat. And then, oh, my God. <laughs> He's two minions. Montel, this brother looks like flipping Arnold from different strokes. You know that brother? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> this little black Power Ranger, yeah? I can't believe this brother. This S Club Junior looking brother. How can this my man... I can even have chat about anything with your dead relationship with Leah. Don't get me started. How can this brother feel like he could chime in into the situation? Who is this little ferret? And then don't get me started on Sammy as well. Oh my God. Captain Birdseye's nephew. This flipping brother, little waste man, with his teeth stacked up like flipping Chester drawers and them things there. This guy, hair looking like a basil plant. He thinks, I can't stand any of these brothers. The three waste men, they feel like they can. Sammy, Sammy, wait till what you said about Jess comes out. The brother that said that Jess is clapped like a round of applause. She's happy to be, she's lucky to be with you and them things there. <laughs> And they tie. And then this little waste, man. I can't believe Montel's talking. Fam, I wish Medi was still here so I can dash him at this Montel, brother. Because, bro, this... I can't believe the nerve of these youths. 
Like, imagine the things they are saying to this scan, saying, oh, like, my man just exaggerating his feelings with you. He's just using you to stay in there. They're saying all this to Catherine, yeah? Imagine how this gal, bro, they're, they're blatantly just knocking her confidence. This gal is beautiful. 10 out of 10. Listen, yeah? If we have to go full package in that whole yard, brains, beauty, everything, yeah? Nobody's be beating Catherine. I don't care what anyone says. Nobody. But they're there trying to pull the gal down like crabs doing a barrel and them things there. Knocking her confidence. Knocking it like room service and them things there. Knocking it like dominoes. Like, it's not fair. The gal is just there. And the mad thing is what got me mad, fam. I went to bust, bust Ty's head. All of their heads, bruv. They all get me mad. So you're not going to apologise to Katie. I'm going to get started on Katie. After she started that nonsense argument, yeah? Nobody apologised to Catherine. Nobody. Oh, my God. What? The disrespect black women face on a daily basis, on a constant, like, in the public, on social media, just humiliated, just disregarded, like, they don't matter with them things there, yeah? Like, it's sickening still, it's sickening still. I hope everyone just sees it and all them things there. Because as soon as KD... No, let me talk about KD, yeah? So while this argument was squatting and it was simmering down a bit, everyone was walking off in their directions and... Whitney was walking with someone and Whitney said, you know what? If anyone wants to tell me anything, rather than air it out like Ty did with Catherine in front of everyone, make, trying to make her look stupid and them things there, she's like, let me know, innit? Tell me, let me know, bring me on a one-to-one. -one. And then Katie started piping up. Bro, she was piping up like a plumber and them things there. You know them ones there? The girl, I don't even understand the whole fuss she was making because she don't even like Zach like that. She don't. Is it because Whitney's there now and is it? Like, bro. So when Whitney said, oh, if anyone got anything to say to me, pull me to the side, the KD girl said, oh, well, you should have pulled me to the side to speak to me about Zach and rah, 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 and all this. Bro, she started going mad, bro. Like she had rabies and them things there. She started going crazy, proper little Karen. Bro, I wanted to smack her with a Tesco bag. Why is she moving like that? I think she lost the plot a little bit, talking about, oh, she wants to be seen and all this stuff. Like, what is she, a lollipop lady or something? What kind of idiot girl is this? They sat down, had a little chat and all that stuff, and she's talking, bro, I... She's an idiot. I love how Whitney composed herself. Whitney, I love her. She's a great representation of black women. Because this whole aggressive and all that stuff, as soon as you start to be assertive, it's labelled as aggressive and all them things there, yeah? I love how she conformed herself, how she just calmly expressed her points and them things there. Katie talking about she wants to be kept in a loop like a Cheerio. Like, what is she, a flipping Cheerio? Like, what is she, a bike tube? Why is she, why is she kept in a loop? Shut up, man! I swear down, I went to a boxer with a red brim tonight. I swear down, a slab of meat or something. She was just, <laughs> the girl was just doing too much. I think she just wants the storyline. She wants to be part of the plot or something. A good storyline. Someone she's just flying kicker at that villa. <laughs> Idiot girl. I don't know what it is. And everyone's fighting over Zach, Zach, Zach. What is it about Zach? The brother's built like a Belgian waffle. I don't understand. Anyway. <laughs> Each of their own beauties in the eye of the beholder and them things there, but certain people got cataracts. But anyway, <laughs> the boys all squashed their beef. They spoke to Scott after, and bro, the thing they were saying to Scott was just dumb, and it just it didn't make sense. But Scott was like, "Oh, I'm just glad we've all aired it out and all these things." But bro, them man, they're some bullies. They're waste man. Tyreek is the leader of that villa, and everyone else is just tiptoeing behind him and all them things there. Because no one can't say nothing to him. Them man, they're following him like a shadow, following him like a pup around the room and them things there. Like, just, what can I eat? How are you even a man when you're following? And I'm saying, anyway, Zach then went to speak to Katie after all the madness to sit down with her to assure her that, like, she's the only one that he still wants to get to know and them things there. He said, I want to be the only one to hold you, hold you, hold you. He said that to her, basically. <laughs> See, Zach, yeah? This is what I'm saying. Why was people trying to shit this Zach and Whitney storyline like online retailers do? Why why, why was people like, oh, Zach is a scumbag. Bro, he never really cared about Whitney. He was just trying to exercise his third leg, like I said in them things there. He was seeing if he could fold her like a fresh towel. And Katie's there. I, do you know what? I just knew that went going anywhere. They just got good banter. And sometimes that's just all it is with some people. Do you know what I mean? It's got good chemistry to be good friends. And that's it. I never once thought that him and Whitney was going to work out. I did. Ooh, 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 not me. Not over here. <laughs> not me. So I'm not surprised. Montel and Leah were sat there chatting. I don't even know why they gave them two screen time. Bro, they are boring. They are dead. Fam, they are drier than a squirrel's neck back. I don't even know where they found these people. Montel with his flipping Carlton from Fresh Prince looking ass and them things there. With his, it's not unusual to be loved. But... <laughs> 
fam, the guy is a square. I'm telling you, proper Rubik's Cube. But yeah, he's a waste man. Him and Leah, fam, dash them away all the way. Catapult them. Man don't want to see them again in them things there. Then they got the text. And guess who came through? Man like Neo, you know. You get me? Said I'm so sick of love songs. So tired and sad. <laughs> when he came on, yeah, man started getting down in the yard. You get me? Started getting my two steps in and everything. <laughs> the production budget for this year must have been nuts. Because, yo, them man there, Neo, you know. Yo, Neo. Fam. Them man, they're moving like big niche in them man, they're, like they're just blowing money fast. But it's worth it, because we are, this is the best season in a long time. I swear down. And even the way Neo sneaked them outside, he said, yo, girls, come and go outside and take a picture together and all them things there. And then the sprinter pulled up. <laughs> like they said, 100 meters. I just put nine gal in the sprinter. <laughs> SUV. Somebody rescue me. I got too many gal, too many, many gal. Anyway, the class with the next two weeks. But yeah, <laughs> it was sick still, I'm not going to lie. The way they had the gallop sneaking out, just cutting through with them things there and shouting. The boys came out, they didn't see them there. And then how they could see the villa from their villa as well. Bro, it's mud, mud, nuts. Listen, I can't wait to see what we're going and them things there. A couple of the brothers, they look a bit weird, so a bit mad. Like I said, a couple of them look a bit dusty still. But there's that brother Uzi. Uzi, I don't really care if you got all my friends are dead. But yeah, see that the, the Uzi brother, yeah, I can see him going for Ella. And see the black brother called Elon. Bro, it looks like they found him in one guy near market and them things there. I'm not sure still. He might be Whitney's thing still. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, and the guy called Ben, yeah, the white youth brother, he's got a mad trim. His trim looks like flipping Street Fighter Gal and them things there. I don't know, like he got a flash kick in his head before he came into the villa. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there, but yeah. It's going to be interesting. The girls look... Whoa! Guys, let's see what happens on Sunday, in this. Your boys, guys, have a lovely weekend. Enjoy your weekend, no matter the weather. Stay blessed. It's your boy, Hannah.